The next stage in any model, once you've got the walls and the doors in, is obviously to put the windows in. And these work in a very, very similar way to the doors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Create Geometry, and from my drop-down, I'll pick Windows. And I'm going to pick, just in this case, Sliding Windows. And we create these in exactly the same way. So just as a demonstration, I'm going to left-click and drag out to give me my width. I'm going to push back to give me my depth. And then I'm going to come up here, and that's going to give me my height. I'm going to right-click to stop creating, otherwise I'll be creating them all day. And there you go, there's my basic window. Again, this is done to my system unit scale, which is centimeters. So currently I have a window which is about four and a half meters high. So fairly big window. I can change that height. There you go, height and width just here. I can change the depth and make that something a little bit more sensible. There we go. I can, of course, uh, change the frame, top and bottom, and also the vertical width as well. Notice that unlike the door, the frame on this one comes into the window rather than out of the window. So that's something that's worth sort of remembering. I've also got a thickness here as well, and I want to make that thickness as deep as possible to give me as much to play with as I can. There we go, and as soon as I've done that, I'm going to come straight in I'm going to make the thickness of my glass half a centimetre, so 5 mil basically. And I'm going to start changing the rail widths here. There we go. So they're a decent size. And I'm also going to start looking at saying I'm going to have maybe one, vert oh, sorry, one horizontal um, split or one vertical. I think the vertical doesn't really work for me. I much prefer having them like that that looks a lot more sort of old school as it were I can have these open or closed and I can even chamfer the profile of the rails which makes it look a little bit odd I'll grant you might take that off there we go of course I want to generate mapping coordinates as well um, maybe I'll reduce the thickness of these down a little bit so it all comes in line there we go 9.2 so nice and simple I've got for my different other types of window I'll just run through these we've got an awning which all I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna open them because by the time you get through to these they're exactly the same as the doors it should start to become very obvious obvious so we've got an awning window here We have a standard fixed window. So again, that's probably the simplest of them all. We can add panels into that. We change the width to them. There we go. That's very, very simple. This one obviously doesn't have an open or a closed. We've got our projected windows, which do some very funky things. If we open these, there you go. You can see that they open in a couple of different ways. We've got, uh, I think I just looked at casement, um, pivoted. Did I look at pivoted? Probably known me. Let's have a look. Open. And yeah, there you go. Pivoted go from the middle. So that's slightly different. And of course, the sliding was the one that we looked at to begin with. So because I happen to know the flat that this is based upon, I'm going to go with our sliding windows. There we go, and I'm going to get myself into position here. Turn on my 3D snap, and I'm just going to create a basic shape of window. There. There we go. So I can take off my 3D snap, pull this in there, and then quite unbelievably as you would expect to see from these look at that there's a hole in the window absolutely brilliant so I can now start to work and concentrate on sort of making this work so I want to move that slightly further back so I've got an even width in between the front and the back of the window that works 
um, I probably want to reduce this rail width right the way down which means I'll have to reduce horizontal and vertical width as well slightly but actually that looks a little bit better there uh, we've got our frame thickness maybe I want to make that a little bit thicker there we go and I also want to work on the generalized width of this window maybe I want to have a couple in here so maybe I'll have this one over on that side and then I'll shift and I'll drag and I'll make an uh, yeah I'll just make a copy actually of that one and look at that absolutely brilliant um, it's it's come with the hole as well because it was recognized as part of the window so there's a lot to be said for working this way yeah, a lot to be said for it now it may well be that I want to put a different window in here um, I can do that and I can work myself work my way around the whole of the uh, the apartment putting these windows in I think that's probably enough for these examples because uh, it's enough to give you the gist all the other windows will work exactly the same way as I say it works exactly identically to the way that the door works very very easy very very simple also very flexible as well it allows you to make changes afterwards without you having to go in and change vertices around so good way of working I think